Let's start with the battle between the Senators and the Bulldogs. Dover versus Laurel. Both had records of 18-2, and two, and both have been dominant this season. Who would budge in this battle between the irresistible force and the immovable object? Dover, they get the party started. Elijah Allen, he kicks it to Yamir Yelberton who dials up and bang, he hits the tray for the Senators. EA, he began to heat up. He goes baseline, and he hits a layup with more angles than a protractor, to the delight of the Senator faithful. But he wasn't done. No, no, no. Under double coverage, he still finds a way to attack the rack, and he sinks the ball in the cup. This next one is loco, folks. Wanye Wise with the Hail Mary, and EA lays it in. Off the alley-oop collab with Wise. Bulldogs looking to mount some sort of offense. Kavir Griffin with a putback for the Bulldogs. And later on, Kyle Wilson from outside the arch. He nets a triple. But the Bulldogs' bite was not enough for the center to smack down. As the centers, they go back to back as conference champs. As the centers, they go on to win it 83 to 55. And Coach Wilson was adamant about his boys playing till the final whistle. Finish it. Make sure we kept talking about finish it. Make sure that they didn't get uh, open threes. Make sure we blocked them out. Uh, make sure we gave them no middle drive and play hard defense and make sure that they we want to try to hold them scoreless in that first quarter. But, you know, they're a good basketball team, you know, so there's nothing we can really do about that. But we wanted to prove we were the best team in the, in the conference again. You know, and these, these seniors are going to be able to take that with them for the rest of their life. And staying on the topic of boys hoops in the first state, the brackets were revealed for the state journey. The Delmarva Christian Royals earned the eighth seed and earned a first round bye. They await the winner of Tattano and Dalcastle. The Caesar Rodney Riders earned the 13th seed and they will take on New York Charter in the first round. Number 21 seeded Tech Ravens will also see some first round action against Carabelle. Imagine a rematch between the Riders and the Ravens. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? Smyrna, they earned the 15th seed and will take on St. Andrews, while Woodbridge earned the 10th seed and they will take on Dickinson in the first round. 19th seeded Seaford team will take on Hodgson, while Lake Forest, they earned the number 22 seed and will clash with Middletown. And lastly, the Dover Senators, they earned the third seed and await the winner of Hodgson and Seifert. The action for the boys kicks off this coming Tuesday. On to the girls, Hen Lopen Championship, Cape versus Woodbridge. Cape down by five, Deny Cannon. She sinks the triple from downtown. Later on, Ohio Applewhite driving. She attacks the bucket, no go, but there is Abby Hearn with a putback and one to level it up at 32 a pop. Then Cape, they begin a rally. Deny Cannon dials up, fires the tray to put the Vikings up in the fourth. But the Raiders, they would not go quietly into that good night. Sierra Smith rocks the baby and retorts with their own tray. Raiders, they're trying to claw back in this one. Perimeter ball movement. Who are you going to call for the clutch shot? Sierra Smith, of course. One more again. She nets the sweet swish. And the Raiders are back in business. 50 seconds left of ball. Janera Scott gets the steal. Goes coast to coast. As Lady Raiders, they win the Henlopen crown. 48 to 40. I think that the girls really bought into the game plan, and I, I really felt like this third time coming around, they didn't let the moment get bigger than what it needed to be, and I just commend them for this. Um, they deserve it. They, they really put a lot of time and work in, hard work in. The girls' bracket was also revealed. Number 17, Dover, and number 16, Laura, will kick off action in the first round. Number 24 seeded Tech will take on Archmere in the first round as well, while number 8 seeded Woodbridge. They await the winner. The Delmarva Christian Lady Royals, they earned the fourth seed and earned a bye. Number 12 seed in Lake Forest will take on Apo in the first round. The Lady Golden Knights from Sussex Central, they earned the number 18 seed and will take on Charter for the opportunity to challenge the number two seeded Cape Henlopen Vikings in the second round. Lady Riders from CR, they also earned a pretty high seed. They earned the seventh seed and a bye in the first round. And lastly, Polytech, they earned the 11th seed and they will clash with St. George's. All of the action on the girls' side kicks off this Wednesday. Pack day of college hoops. Wesley welcomes Gwyneth Mercy with the Atlantic East Conference Championship on the line. And the Fighting Blue Hens, they close out their season looking to rebound after two straight losses as they head to UNC to battle the Seahawks. And old foes meet one more again as the Hornets they visit the Hawks in the Battle of Route 113 at 4 p.m. All righty, it's time to hit the mat. I'm a little sad, folks. As you know, I love wrestling. As the Delaware wrestling season is in the home stretch with the individual state tournament going down at Cape Henlopen. After a thrilling series of bouts at last week's Henlopen Championships, the stage was set for day one of the tourney in Lewis. Smyrna's Joey Natarcola versus William Brock. He gets the takedown right there. He would later sink in the pin and he would get the win. Natarcola went on to win his second match of the day and he goes on to the championship rounds of day two. 
CR's Jackson Dean, the surgeon, in action. Dean was dominant on the day, securing a pin in his first match and winning a decision in his second to advance to the championship matches later today. Otto Woodbridge, Brenton Williams, who took on Tim Ettinger. Nice series of throws, and even though Ettinger reversed the pressure, the Raider would stay on top. For Williams, he's just happy to compete in the tournament with the hopes of advancing to the next round. So feeling good, you know, going to take that same energy into the second match, you know, carry on. You know, as, as well as my, like, teammates to, like, keep winning, you know, fight back. If they lose, you know, have the same energy. Just bring it. All the, just leave all the uh, need on the mat. We'll have coverage of the finale of the DIAA Wrestling Tournament, as well as coverage of the Maryland Regional Tournament. Thank you, Zach. And much, much more later today. All righty, that'll do it for me. Jose Cueva signing off for WBOC Sports. And as always, it is a privilege and an honor to serve you, Delmarva.